And good evening to you at 11. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amanda Stern. Tino, our top story tonight, it could happen to you. A stranger shows up at your home warning you about a repair you supposedly need. Then while they've got you distracted, a second person enters your home to steal. It happened to a retired veteran in Indianapolis. RTV6's Matthew McClellan is on the southwest side working for you with how you should protect yourself. We are in the Ridge Hill Trail subdivision where a homeowner thought he was getting a tree trimming consultation. Instead, he got priceless valuables stolen from inside his home. Tonight, he says he wishes he never would have let this man onto his property. My ring was in here. 86 year old Bill Sudcamp and his friend Joyce show us the drawers they found wide open Friday afternoon. Stole Joyce's uh, watch. Stole. And her, and her cougar ran. It began when a stranger showed up at Sudcamp's home on Ridge Hill Drive. Well, I was sitting out in the garage. It was a warm day, and this guy came walking up the driveway. The man said he wanted to talk about trimming trees. We walked out through the backyard, and then the whole time he's talking in Spanish. And I thought maybe he was talking back to his office. Sudcamp estimates they were outside for half an hour. In the meantime, a second person was inside his home. I never ever saw him. Entering through the open garage door while the homeowner was out back. He took my Star Sapphire 18 karat gold ring, which was a gift from my wife when I went into the, to the Marine Corps in 1950. Orion Bell is president and CEO of Sokoa. Always be skeptical of someone who comes to the door because they happen to be in the neighborhood. He says crimes like this are all too common in central Indiana. If you need to find a contractor to do some work on your home or in the yard, uh, you should initiate that. Protect yourself. Don't respond to solicitors at your door. If you're approached outside, tell them you're not interested. Be wary of unmarked cars and anyone without a business card. For Sudcamp and countless others, it is a painful lesson learned the hard way. I wish I would have just told him I wasn't interested. Police have not released a suspect description in the case. Reporting on the southwest side, Matthew McClellan, RTV6.